I said social interaction has moved from you going to your neighbor's house, you know, traveling to see your friends, to see your family. It has moved online. And adoption of innovations, you know, technological advancements and all of that. Artificial intelligence as the world population grows, so there's a number of internet users across the globe. And going back to culture, technology has changed our society. In Africa, our cultural values are what greatly influence our behaviors and attitudes in society. There is no society without culture, like I said. There's no, I don't think any society is complete without that sense of common values that gives meaning and purpose to group life. So in Nigeria, our, culture, our cultural values include, include respect, as we know, respect for elders, chastity among the women folk, dignity of labor, patriotism to one's community, courage, strength, determination, you know, self-reliance, as the Yoruba people would say, I said, oh, any of you and when the white men came to Nigeria, we progressively, we progressively imbibed the white man's way of life and their values, obviously. For instance, our governments, our trade, our religion, you know, our dressing, our language have been greatly influenced and it's been adjusted to fit into the Western world. Now, technology has brought in some negative effects on our society. It has based our cultural values. Now we have no regards for for the elders. We have no, in fact, we have no regards for the interests of other people. Now we are self interested. Yes, everybody, everybody is selfish. We are all selfish beings. Should be told, but back then we, we used to put other people into consideration. You know, when we want to take decisions, we consider. You know other people's feelings but now things have changed so now there is excessive quest for material possessions you know appearance money of worship now the line between reality and virtuality is really blurry people ask based on what they see on the internet on social media there's no patriotism anymore we are all egocentric we're forgotten about all of our moral values, which is most important. And let's, let's consider, in, well, in every tribe in Nigeria, I think I, I can say that they all have things that, well, characteristics that makes them distinct from other tribes. Because other would tell you that, okay, you have to speak the truth. Other would consider justice, you know, hard work. And most importantly, for every tribe in Nigeria, I, th I think it's everywhere in Africa and generally the whole world, we, we value character. The Igbos believes that the truth is life. You know, all of these morals and values are, well, gradually being forgotten. And for me, and in the same vein, the digital age, it's the age of opportunities, you know. And now we have we have access to things that we could not even imagine. No one would have thought that things would have you know changed this much. But I'm very sure that well, give it another decade, you wouldn't believe that there was a time where we were doing the things that we are doing now. Because I'm sure that things would have even become more advanced. You know, now that now there is opportunity for businesses, for people, there are technological advancements like I have said earlier, information sharing, communication has been made very easy. Now we live in a knowledge based society and you know what they say about knowledge. Knowledge is power. Now with several search engines and through the social media anyone is able to acquire the knowledge that they need or they want for academicians, for artisans, for even entrepreneurs. All the information and knowledge we need is right in our reach for taking. Also, imbibing the Western culture, I think it paved way to a digital society in Africa. 
to be factual now, there are some traditional practices that cannot be demonstrated because they are negative and harmful, and some are dehumanizing. So I think that, yes, social media and social networking or, and, you know, digital age has its own evils, but I think at the end of the day, I would say that the good that it has outweighs the bad. And most people spend more time online than asleep. We all know that. We know that everyone wants to be accessible and relevant online. So I think the digital media should be seen as a vehicle to facilitate communication and not replace it com com completely. And that's exactly what's happening now. You know, even, even in the house, before you greet people when you wake up, before you greet your parents, before you greet your siblings or anybody around you, first, you know, check what's going on on your phone. We all should be prepared for eventualities, seriously. Business owners, I think, apart from all of these things that we're having, yes, it is good to discuss the effects, but that we can see now, well, I think it's also important that we prepare for what is to come in the future, because I'm very sure that things are still going to, we, we've not even started, things are going to, you know, get better or <laughs> worse from here. And, you know, for business owners to ensure that their business is prepared, they, should, they need to ensure that their businesses are prepared for what is to come because, well, let's consider those that, that are working in public offices now, you know, the secretaries, the clerks and people like that. I'm sure that there would be a time where they would have nothing to do because now we have the, the, the AI, the artificial intelligence is, I don't know, there are innovations that are being made every day. So people that work in offices now, they need to, you know, or even bankers. So we need to prepare for the eventualities of this social, you know, this internet thing, this digital technological advancement that is happening now. Because I think that people would, should also be innovative, be creative, in your, in your line of work, you know, in your discipline, prepare for what is to come, leave no option off the table, be make sure that, just make sure that you stay on trends, you know, be permanently available to your audience. Because I think that we will soon move to a post-digital era where all of these things that we think are special would be nothing then. So, and I'm sure that by then, digital technology would be very seamless and so effortless where we won't be bothered about feeling anxious regarding uh children using these technologies because now some parents still feel like oh why should i why should i make my child probably you know their young children why, why should they be able to access the internet because in africa we're still we're still being sentimental about some things and i totally understand their fears though for the parents but i'm sure that there will be a time in the future that no one would care about these things, no one would feel anxious about the evil that these technologies would bring. So in conclusion, I want everybody to brace themselves, you know, the best is yet to come. All the technological advancements that we think <laughs> are big deal now will become plain, you know, just be there to satisfy our basic needs, you know, like communication, like all these communicative gadgets, you know, transportation means, you know, the way her home looks, everything will change one day soon. And, I'm, and in fact, I think it's changing every day, but I'm sure that in years to come, it will become more evident. So um, when, when, this, when times like this come, I just hope that we'll be able to promote our cultural values, even with everything that will still come up, you know, the advancements, the innovations. I hope that even by then we'll be able to also promotes our culture so i would like to use this medium to tell people now that you know africans that it is important that despite all of these advancements that is yet to come and the ones that we have now we should not neglect what's important and those things are our cultural values so we need to hold them dear to our hearts and make sure that whatever happens we stay true to them. Thank you so much for 
inviting me for having me talk here it's been a really great pleasure